Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit and hang out with all of you. I'm throwing the Bear Cave, the Lego, the site, the mode in the chat. If you're currently a subscriber, you can reply with those emotes. Uh, first things first, I'm going to hit the applause. And also, oops, the to Chang. Uh, and thank you, Harold. Harold uh, uh, gave 50 bits. And also, because 50, because Harold just subscribed for 50 months and said 50 months, that's half a year. That's like half a year, which is, it's funny because it's wrong, but also uh, a reference to other people's streams, which I get. I get that. Hey, I get that reference. Um, thank you, Harold, for that. And thank you all of you. Uh, Last Brook, also for 50 months, saying combo. So we're going to hit the applause there. Last Brook, also for 50 months. Now, if you're wondering, Pat, is that the most of months you can you can subscribe? Yes. That's how long I've been uh, uh, allowing, you're not allowing, able for people to subscribe. Because it was only uh, like a month and a half between when I started streaming and when I became an affiliate. Um, Aristofan's here as well. Hello, Aristofan. Welcome. So yeah, uh, 50 months is the most you could be subscribed to this. Um, and that is... A ridiculous number that someone could be two different individuals could be subscribed for 50 months is um really ridiculous just nice that's just nice it's just a nice thing so thank you um hey john is here hello john uh so what is the agenda for today tonight right now well we got a new kit we're going to start up um I got the sheet right here, letting you know. Uh, we're working on the Barbatoris, and we'll look at the overhead in a moment. Uh, it is uh, the second one down there, all the way, right there. Barbatoris. It is the Barbatos um, uh, model kit, high grade Barbatos. And what other one is a pair of? Oh, yeah. The uh, Kamaris Trooper. The Kamaris Trooper is a four legged purple and white friend. We like purple on this stream. Um, uh, but this is, this got a little purple in it. Like, this is like gray purple-ish, which I really like. Um, and we have a regular light gray as well. Lovely reds on this kit. This is a kit with a tail and four legs. It's a centaur. We're building a centaur. Um, and that's another reference is making it sound like tar, like centaur. Uh, that is a reference. It's fine. You don't need to know it. Um, oh, we're actually at 47 subscribers and not 46. So I'm going to update that. As you can see here, we do have the numbers because we are below 50 subscribers. We're actually at 47. So I can go and adjust that. Uh, we are at 47 out of 50. That's the goal. What happens at 50? I, I worry less. That's it. So if you're looking to uh, gift a sub if you're looking to subscribe if you're new and you're thinking about like now's the time to do it that would be great love to get to 50 if we don't get to 50 it's okay i won't freak out about it um i mean i might freak out a little bit no not. um but yeah we got the barbara Torres. it's from gun to baker breaker battle log um so uh peek behind the curtain i put up a poll for my ten dollar patrons and that poll Right now, I'm just putting in, I have the Lego set, because I, I do want to build that at some point. I'm just putting in high grades from Gundam Breaker Battle Log, because I want to build all of these kits, because you interchange them. Uh, so I need to get all, I, there's still four that I don't have. Um, there's still four that I need, they're on my Amazon wish list. I do need four more, um, but there are only like, ooh, I want to take two that I haven't built yet that I have. So I have built three of them, and I would like to continue to build all of those. One came uh, off my wish list, the other two I purchased myself, um, or three I purchased myself. Yeah, four. We got four kits. Yeah, we're going to, uh, with the Barbara Taurus. This was the one, you may remember me being very unhappy that USA Gundam Store hadn't shipped to me. There was just a delay in the product, and it took forever. And I was very frustrated by that. Um I, I also say uh, if you if you you know follow along here, um, ones left 
uh, that I haven't purchased yet. The Helios Gundam, which is a cool looking kit. Um, the Perfect Strike, which has never really been my favorite kit, to be fair. Or to be honest, never my favorite. I don't really like the Strike. Um, any version of the Strike, uh, really. Uh, no, the Strike Noir Odori is kind of cool because it's pink. I like that. Um, uh, it's got extra arms. Um, and then the one that looks cool is the Astray Red Frame, but it's the, like, color. It's all black instead of red. It looks pretty great. That one, like, I don't have. I'm, I'm looking forward to putting that together. We have the, uh, yeah, we got a, a variety kit. So this is also going to be the kit that has the most uniquely new parts on it. It does have parts from uh, 2015, so it is still a pretty modern kit. The Kamaris parts and the um, Barbatos parts are pretty modern. And then it's got a lot of new shit on it. Like, it's got a bunch of, like, stuff that is from 2021. Uh, the... Previously, we put together the Live Lance Heaven that had quite that a few new new components like the arm molds and stuff like that, um, and was also a new kit. It was a fully new kit, whereas this one is like a modification. But this has a lot of new shit, uh, either being its colors or just new art or new uh, sorry components, uh, including some clear red there. That's that's clear, hard to see, but it is clear. Um, so that's cool. That's got a bunch of new shit um, that will make it look pretty cool. And this is going to be a, a a weird one. This is going to look weird. Uh, it does have some stickers. Not many, but it does have some stickers. Um, kind of the usual spots that you would see. Uh, you know, eye stickers, some kind of stickers for like the knees, because that's kind of what the Barbatos has. Um and uh yeah it, it's gonna be a good one and let's you know what i'm gonna retweet my tweet and let's get into it let's get b -b -b building uh gonna be that uh i got i got a tweet that's doing okay out there right now it's doing all right for me lately uh you can see we're gonna be using black for our gray and also for our uh light or like our purple uh, our grayish purple and then for the red we'll be using brown markers and then you can see that i'm at 47 out of 50 trying to get that 50. um yeah i gotta tweet this okay because uh i was watching a youtube video um like i do like you know like you do you know i'm out there watching a youtube video i'm gonna take this down one notch um so i'm watching this youtube video and uh this this question gets asked did you buy 50 blankets at Menards? Which I laugh. Now, Menards is a store, a chain of stores. You, you know, it's a big box retailer for things. Um, and uh, the place is called Menards. And it makes me laugh. And, you know, am I childish for laughing at a place, a business that is called Menards? I mean, yeah, I am childish for, for laughing at a, a, a place of business that they decided to just call Menards. Um, but it, it is, to be fair to me, it's very fucking funny that that store is called Menards. It's pretty great. Um, to which I got a reply from my uh, friend, musician Seth Bowen. Um, I've not seen Seth in quite some time. Hope uh, they are doing excellent. But anyway, Seth was like, uh, every time I'm on tour and I see this place, I have to laugh. And he had a photo of a place called the Come and Go. That's K-U-M and Go, uh, which is a convenience store uh, chain called Come and Go. And I also laugh at that because it is very funny. Harold says, yeah, I spent a lot of time in, in Menards when I lived in Wisconsin and was helping my dad fix up the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the kind of place you go to buy, like, a bunch of stuff. Uh, Tony says, that is hilarious. Reminds me there is a steak and sushi spot by me called Ah So. Nice. Uh, Iron uh, Hind has a, uh, a joke for us. Yes, why did the policeman arrest the skeleton? Because he could see the joint in his hand. All right, okay, all right. 
It's Monday. We're gonna we're gonna throw some jokes around here on a Monday. Okay. Um, I believe someone else sent me one. I I want to check out see if I have one more response. Uh, yes, Quaker Steak and Lube. That is a, a restaurant, um, out there called Quaker Steak and Lube. Um, now is that a place where you can get food and also get stuff for your car? I don't know. Is it a place that is it a restaurant that they were like, we should put lube in the title. And then they just, and no one said, no, don't. I don't know. But it, it, it happened. A place that exists. Harold uh, uh, says it's largely along the same line as a Home Depot or a Lowe's, mainly based in the Midwest. Yes, 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 your, your Menards. Uh, this, this YouTube video I was watching, they, they are in Iowa. And so they went to get supplies for the office they were renovating. Uh, hey, Ying Dark saying, yo, Pat, yo to you. Welcome. Working on the Barbatoris. You can see it there. It's a four-legged friend. We're building a centaur. We're building a centaur model kit. That's just a thing we get to do. I mean, I get to do and you get to watch me do. This is the thing I get to do on a Monday night. Uh, this is why we workshop. Yes, shout out to Iowa. Indeed. Like, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. You can call your business that. I always think about how, um, uh, um, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, uh, a fantastic wrestler, one of the greatest wrestlers, wonderful, never, never worked heel, always worked babyface, good looking kid, great wrestler in the ring. Um, he was starting out and he was wrestling under his real name and a promoter was like, Hey, you shouldn't go by your legal name because it sounds like you're a bat, you're a heel, not a good guy. And he and and that's because Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's real, legitimate, legal first and last name was Richard Blood, and he went by Rich or Richard, and he didn't go by Dick because then his name would be Dick Blood, and it's not. It's Richard Blood. And he, you know, and then he was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And then his son is Richie Steamboat, but his son is really Richard Blood, the third, I think. Uh, but he, he wrestled as Richie Steamboat. Um, D&D canceled again. So I am, uh, uh, here I am. Uh, DM got the COVID. Oh, I am sorry for your DM. Like, genuinely, sorry for your DM. Richard Blood is my dad's name. Call me Dick Blood. Yeah, everybody around here just calls me Dick Blood. Uh, yeah, no, don't. Um, I am sorry that you're... Uh, I am very sorry that your DM got COVID. I'm generally, uh, genuinely sorry for everybody that's uh, dealing with that. Uh, a couple of my friends in New York got COVID. They seem to be not dealing with they're not dealing with severe symptoms but uh yeah uh and then a uh friends of my parents um they're a married couple uh my parents are a married couple and also their friends are uh one of them got covid and then the other got covid and one of them had immune issues immunity issues and so everyone was very fucking scared but uh looks like they're both doing they were doing not great and now they are doing better uh you know which is which is great and we, we love to hear that we we do genuinely love to hear that so hopefully they're gonna all do okay um it's running rampant in the south yeah um lashbrook comes in saying there's a urologist around here named richard chop i bet that uh, again if your last name is anything re like Outside of like Smith, like you gotta be Richard or Rich or Richie. You just like first of all, being having the nickname Dick is weird all the time, forever. But also, if you get like goes with something like, like you can't be Dick Chop. 
like you just can't be Dick Chop. You just you can only that can only be your name if you are a rest. You're an indie indie comedy wrestler named Dick Chop, and that is your finishing move: is a karate chop to the dick. And you can be Dick Chop, and it's very good. But if that's just like your given name, if your parents were just like, well, your last name's Chop, and you know, I've always loved the name Richard. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, is running rampant in the South. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, here's the thing. Uh, this particular uh, variant is running wild everywhere. Um, especially when you deal with uh, the December bump. Uh, the th Here's the thing, the Thanksgiving bump happens and then everyone's like, well, I didn't get COVID for Thanksgiving, so I'm going home for Christmas. And then it's just, it bumps up again, and it's going to keep fucking doing that forever. I mean, maybe not forever, but for a while, uh, quite some time, we are just going to be living with this shit. Um, here's the fun thing. Uh, every state has high transmissions right now. Yeah, uh, some states have higher transmissions than they've ever had before. Um, and they don't have any lockdown procedures, uh, which is a great combination. So here's a fun thing. Um, everyone who's got a January event is canceling their January events, right? And February events will probably follow suit. Um, and then March stuff will happen because they will, the numbers will dip down, uh, um, theoretically anyway. Um, and then, but it's fun if you're... Let's say you're somebody who is um, thinking about going to a convention in April and starts thinking about that being a reality in your life. Let's just say that, right? It's weird to like email people about a convention when the January conventions are canceling. Uh, now, I should be fair. Uh, there is a, uh, a couple of my friends are going to a, uh, a furry convention that is apparently still happening. Um, uh, and now you can add in the joke of, yeah, well, you know, I mean, if you're going to a furry con, you're already wearing a mask, yeah, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but apparently that is uh, still being planned. Um, so I do have a friend that is like, yeah, no, I'm going to a con. And I was like, I mean, okay, you know, do, do what you gotta be safe. Uh, also va vaccinate your furries indeed. Mm -hmm. Uh, apparently they have very good vaccine like uh you gotta be vaccinated to go to this convention uh you know you gotta go through the clear app and all that they're they're taking they're doing what they gotta do um harold has already decided no pax east um i have not decided i have i am at this point right now i cannot tell you that i am going to pax east but i can tell you that I want to go to PAX East. And if, uh, if if I can go to PAX East, I'm going to PAX East. So I will I will tell you that. That I have um I have to, the desire to go to PAX East. Now if that ends up happening or not is I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna end up going, but I have the uh the urge and the uh, I am uh currently Figuring out my options in order for me to go to PAX East. Uh, the oh, the backbone of the art world, uh, uh, indeed, uh, Ying Dark. Um, uh, paying artists, creators on the internet, uh, craftsmen, uh, and women, and and non-binary folks, craftspeople out there, all of that. Uh, you get ev every community can learn a lot from the uh furry community as far as because they have figured this shit out they have figured out how to pay people and support people and 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 do all that they they got this shit like they already figured that out um the true patronage patriotage is that um starting to shake my head and my cousin trying to have a big wedding soon yeah so look at the end of all of this, at the, all of this to say, all of these things are to say, right? Like, 
The expression people, hey, Lord Crashington, welcome. Happy to have you here as always. The expression people got to live their lives is a weird one to say in this instance. Um, but I understand why people are like, look, we, I don't know if I can't do it. So if we are going to do it, how can we do it as safely as possible? And I think that's like, in many instances, that is what people are going to be going ahead, right? And so then it becomes personal choice, right? You don't want to go to an airport? Don't go to an airport. You don't want to go inside venues? Don't go inside venues. Uh, you uh, you don't want to expose yourself to the things? Then don't. And good. Um, I think now, in 2020, we were. I think we were all collectively, not, you know, not, not everybody, but a lot of people were like, hey, you should cancel this. Hey, this seems bad. Hey, you shouldn't do this. Um, and I think we were right to to feel that way. Uh, I think coming into 2022 now, um, I am start, my general feeling is, I mean, you make the decision that's right for all y'all. Like you figure your shit out. How does this go together? These things, shows me how it lines up, but not, hmm, all right. Uh, my general feeling on it is, you know, you, you make the decisions that you feel comfortable making. Like I went to PAX Unplugged, right? Um, it felt very weird for a number of reasons. Uh, but the weirdest part of it was that there were people that I associate with PAX that I didn't see. You know, PAX Unplugged doesn't bring in everybody, but there were people that I would like, oh, I associate you with PAX and you're not here. Like, it's weird to be, for me, to be at a PAX and not run into my friend Casey um, because uh, um, Chris Straub is not doing a booth. Casey usually works and is uh, Chris's assistant in, in the booth. Uh, but since he did not do a table or a booth, uh, Casey did not attend. And that's great for her and smart for her. But weird for me as someone that often sees Casey's face at a PAX. It was very strange. But, like, I get it. Um, for me right now, my own feelings are um, the thing keeping me from PAX East is not COVID. It's having the funds to travel. It's having uh, making sure the event happens and that I can um, you know, like if I go, I'm going to be doing two or three panels. Can I get people unplugged was, uh, a la last minute in many ways, in ways that I was not thrilled about. And so I would like to be more comfortable doing that because East will be a bigger event, certainly. Um, but yeah, I, uh, if I go to East, I also have to go to New York first. Like, that's a ridiculous thing that I have to do, because if I go to East, it'll be with the understanding that I will be doing a panel in which I will need some gear that I don't have with me, because when I came down here, I didn't think that it would be as long as I've been down here. So I have stuff in storage. Your PAX events are always super fun. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I worked very hard to make those uh, as fun as possible. But like, yeah, I'm going to have to get gear that is in my storage unit. So I will have to, this is the plan anyway. If, if all this happens, if I go, if I, if I do this, right, if this is the thing that, that happens, here's what's good, what I got to do. I got to take a plane from South Carolina to New York, go to my storage unit, get stuff that I need to get out of my storage unit, then take a train up to Boston. Like, that's the plan. Uh, because there's stuff that I will need out of there. And then while I'm doing that, I can do stuff like take, some, take a bunch of t-shirts and swap out and get some other ones. Or what I'll have is I'll have my, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll have my suitcase. I'm going to bring like a suit, uh, like I'm going to put as little as possible in a big suitcase and then fill it with gear that I'll need um for packs and then also if i have room in the suitcase other shirts like i won't go as far as there with like clothes to wear like other other than you know i'll grab and replace uh t-shirts uh 
just so that I can mix up my wardrobe a bit. But yeah, that is currently like a plan. Uh, I mean, like I said, nothing of this is in stone. This is all just like, this is what I'd like to do. Uh, I don't know if it is anything that I'll do. Uh, this is the, uh, this is our chest unit here. Cause this is again, a weird kit. Um, so this is, you know, we got the waste, which can be building off of this. Um, again, a lot of new parts on this. We're going to move to the head here. Uh, there are only one sticker for the head, the eyes, of course. So we will start working on that. And this is all new script, new sculpting on this. Some of this is very similar. Like the part of the head here is very similar to the uh, Barbatos, but a lot of this is new shit. So anyway, um, uh, all that is to say, I understand why people are like bailing, but in my mind, like, no one should be planning anything in January um, at all, I think, going forward. Like, just don't count on January events happening. Uh, basically, I would, I would say don't plan on December events because people are going to freak out around Thanksgiving every year as well. So I would say, like, don't do Thanksgiving events just, you know, or December stuff um, because people are going to, just be like, uh, I got big January plans. Video games at home. Hell yeah. Um, of course, my folks do have uh, January plans. Uh, towards the end of this month, they will be heading to Florida. Uh, they go and uh, stay in a timeshare. This the same place every year. Uh, they did this last year. Uh, so I'll be moving my equipment out into the uh, uh, Carolina room, which is basically just like the den. But that's what they call it down here. Um, because I'll have the house to myself. But they will be damn well isolated from people where they are in Florida because uh, it is a timeshare community um, and uh, they will abide by the rules there, but they'll, they will see less people than they would if they were here. So that is cool with me. Uh, that is good. Um, let's see. Is it in every room of Carolina room? Yes. Uh, in other world, I would be starting to worry about Pack South. Yeah, who knows? Who knows if they would have done it? But yes, I hear you. Uh, um, Ying Dark says, four-legged Gundam, nice. I wish Gundam's got more weird or more capes, mech, ponchos. Yes, more ponchos, more capes. Uh, like I said, yeah, this thing's got four legs. It's great. I, I like that. Yes, I, I genuinely enjoy when, when kits get a little wild like this. Uh, it's very good. Um, all right, so I got to put this piece on here. Um, back south, this should cancel. Yes, John, it is canceled forever. Last person knows that. He's saying in a different world, he would be thinking about that. Now, I can understand why you might think he by a different world, he means um, in a world where he would travel because of the, the holiday. But he he is staying, he is saying um, in a world where there was a pack south to go to. Uh, it's the only packs I went to with my friends. Yeah. Um, Look, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. But I, I have no insider information to, to report here. I can only tell you that it, it is my belief that um, a PAX in Australia and two PAX in the U.S. is not the, that's not going to be, there will be a third U.S. PAX. Where it'll be, I couldn't tell you. I don't have any information on that. I do not know. But there'll, there'll be a, they'll, they'll do another PAX. They'll figure out another PAX. Um, I hope it won't be in January since there, I mean, th there are three US PAXs. So should be, to be fair, PAX Unplugged is the third PAX, but I'm talking about the third video game focus PAX. There'll be another one. Um, come on, Des Moines PAX in January. Yeah, no, I don't think we'll see that. But I, I could see, uh, I could see a PAX. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it would be or how it would be, but I could see that. Um, let's put the eye stickers on here before we put the rest of the head together. Uh, got a tiny, tiny eye sticker to apply as always. Pax Rio. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about an, another international one, but I figure, I feel like there'll be another one. Um, Armored Core taught me, uh, that spider mech, uh, four-legged mechs are just a bit worse in combat. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing of like, um, 
Ziog, I've um is coming. I I bought the Ziog, but it it's taking its time getting mailed here. Uh, it wasn't through like uh, I did not get fast shipping on it. Um, but the Ziog uh doesn't have legs because it's in space, and who the fuck cares? Why would it need legs? And I think that's like the big lesson is is like you don't have to make it humanoid. Um. Especially with the Barbatos and the other Gundams from Iron-Blooded Orphans that have, like, a demonic vibe to them. Uh, the idea that it's like, yeah, this thing's got a real demonic vibe, so why would you worry about making it, um, like, in any way, shape, or form humanoid-looking? Like, yeah, put, put six legs on it. Who cares? Six legs, two extra arms. Backpack arms are always appreciated on this stream. If a kid's got backpack arms, I'm always interested in that. Also, um, you can't see it in the photo. Uh, this thing, it, it, its eyes are, are very covered by this plastic. Like, I'll put the eyes on here. It is so hard to see these eyes there because it's also black but it, they're so tiny on here and they're partially covered humanoids are so 2000 xx indeed um are they refusing to do digital remote packs? uh uh <laughs> um look i again i don't have insider information i think they're back to doing uh if the convention centers are open they're gonna do paxes in front of people because the only people that really like digital PAXs are panel producers like me because it you can do them in advance and it's easy. Um, but, and you look, audience members who don't want to travel but want to see some stuff, they don't mind it. But uh, the numbers don't lie. People don't. Digital packs didn't do what they need. And also, you've got physical packs is too much money to give up. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is also just like, eventually, uh, you either got to lay people off. Like, you, I don't, I don't know logistics, but I do know they had a lot more people working for Reed who, who put on the conventions than they would need for a digital convention. Uh, oh, Lord Crashton wants me to hit that new ska song, which I do have a new ska, ska song. So we're going to play the new ska song for this month. That's a really long build to it before you start getting horns. And do those sound like horns that were garage band horns and not real horns? Of course they do. Um... It's not a bad song, but it is very much made by clearly made by one person in on their computer. Um, and th that's it for songs I can get uh, that are ska songs that are easily added into the stream deck. Now I'm going to have to get tricky with it, which I can. I know how to do that. But for February, I'm going to have to get a little tricky with it. Uh, uh, and that's not like getting jiggy with it, but it, it's somewhat similar but it's also pretty different. Um, okay. Turn the parts. All right, so the next two pieces we got to put on here, I got to put in and then turn them. And that's that's a weird thing to request. That That's weird, uh, but I'll do it. Um, time for Will Smith's new ska song, getting tricky with it. Indeed. Um, anyway, look, I don't know. I, don't, I do want to go to PAX uh, East. I, I And I... I want to, and I'm going to figure out a way to go and do it. Um, and then also hope that if it gets canceled, it's enough advance that I can get money back or get credit for a flight. Because uh, otherwise, fucking yikes. Um, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just fly to New York and get my stuff for my, Get some stuff out of my storage locker instead. Or storage unit. Um, let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Uh, I got a couple things we can chat about here. We got some time to chat. Um, welcome, everybody that's watching. We got some new friends joining us tonight, I believe. Um, so, uh, oh, I can give you a bit of a preview here. 
hey, there's some anime coming out this week. Um, I have uh, wrote down a few that I'm excited about. Uh, there'll be more because generally they don't all come out the same week. There's like a week and then in the next week there'll be a few more. Um, uh, in the land of Leedale, uh, or Leadale, I don't know how to pronounce it yet. Um, that is coming out on Wednesday. It'll be available on Crunchyroll. Uh, that is a, uh, in Isekai. Um, uh, I just watched uh, your winter fall video. Hell yeah. Thank you for watching, Dark. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. So I need F8 and B21. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I, I like this in the land of Leedale. It is um, uh, based on a light novel. I have read the manga. There's not that many chapters of the manga out, um, but there's apparently a lot of the light novel. Uh, so it'll be that situation where watching the anime, I will get ahead of the manga. Um, but it is a story of a girl that um, uh, has been in a terrible accident and she is uh, hospital. Uh, she's bound to a bed. Um, and she, her only like refuge is a VR MMO, uh, that she's been playing. Uh, and then she dies and she wakes up and it's been years in the future in the game. And she is now her avatar in the game. Uh, so it is her, okay, so how does this connect? Uh, it is her living that life. Um, and it's a little slower than some of the other uh isekai out there there's some action i mean it is a it is her in a vr in her world but it's um seems sweet i enjoy it so i'm gonna check that out um i've enjoyed read what i've read of the manga um i'm sorry folks i don't know i'm gonna look real close on this so this is gonna go this is like part of the head yes and then that locks in over it okay yeah, because that's part of the thing. All right. Let me see if I can get this on here. Okay, yeah. I just don't know how this goes. It, like, kind of shows it, but... There it is. I got it. There it is. Okay. It's back farther away. Um, the, uh, then we got... On Friday, we got Slow Loop. I do not know who has picked up Slow Loop. I hope someone has. I really hope someone has. Uh, but I do not have that information yet. But I'm, I'm very much hoping that somebody has picked up that. Because that is the story of a girl that really likes fishing. She meets another girl that really likes fishing. They're fishing together. And then they find out they are stepsisters. Because their parents have gotten married very recently. And so now... It's so it is a soul life girls doing cute things, but also the realities of trying to build a friendship and a family relationship, uh, which sounds fun. Um, Dirty wants me to hit that ska. I will hit that ska. Here's that ska. Welcome, Dirty. Got this new ska song. It's a little while before we get the horns in. And there's that new Ska song. All right, so the head is basically done here. I got to go and panel line the top of this. Uh, this is the asymmetrical. Well, we like that around here. Or at least I do. Uh, I missed the new Ska because I was listening to Anderson Cooper. Okay. Uh, I just imagine that Anderson Cooper is still hungover from uh, New Year's Eve. Perhaps he's more professional than I give him credit for. But uh, that man drank. Watch clips. Didn't watch a lot. Watch clips. Um, anyway, also, uh, The Strongest Sage with the Weakest Crest comes out on Saturday, and that is an isekai, and it is good. Um, kind of nonsense, but fun. Uh, dude just basically is like, I'm I'm strong, but I could get stronger. I wish I, you know, I could have leveled up sooner. I wish I, you know, been stronger in my pre in this life. When I get reincarnated, I hope that I am stronger. Gets reincarnated. The world kind of shitty magic not a lot of great magic anymore and also because the crest he has uh the new crest he has um he uh uh is is a is one is a crest that people like it takes a long time to get good it's got like a hard learning curve um so people just assume that it's bad and so 
He's like, people were like, oh, you have the weakest crest. Like, you'll never amount to anything. He's like, oh, no, I'm very good at magic. Don't worry. Uh, um, he meets uh, some, I, think, I don't think they're sisters, but they're partners that, that end up hanging out with him uh, and just think that he's cool and they like working with him. Also, uh, a dragon he knew in his previous life, he runs across because they need help with transportation. And that dragon has a cute girl humanoid form and she's fun because she doesn't understand how to like move around as a human because she never used that form it's fun it is a fun like pretty lightweight but also in some instances pretty bloody um uh isekai uh and then speaking of bloody there will probably be some blood in how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom part two we're getting part two. I did not think that we would get part two so soon. Uh, I knew it was split into two cores, but we're getting the second one. Um, How Real's Hero, I I've talked about it before. I very much enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to bed. Good night. I'll catch you later in the week. Harold, thanks for being here. Thanks for renewing your sub for so many dang months. And uh, have a good one. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, oh, also, um, uh, Lord Crash had mentioned... Uh, oh, no, I got here... Uh, Dirty said it was a New Year's Eve clip where the other guy was going off on uh, ex Mayor de Blasio. Yes, uh, definitely. And then um, uh, Lord Grashton says, I saw the New Year's clip with Don Lemon being told by the comedian that she wants no broke dick in 2022. Yes. I want to say that that was probably Chelsea Handler because that does sound like her and she does those things. Uh, those kind of shows, I should say. Um and that's that sounds yeah that sounds right and yeah you know financially or functionally get what you want um how real Terra rebuild the kingdom part two looking forward to that the like managerial side of it uh there is another show i want to say it's this season yes uh that is kind of similar but the opposite so this is a guy who shouldn't be king who is like, well, I'm going to do my best. And then there's another guy who doesn't want to be king, uh, which is not an isekai. It's just an action. It's just a, a fantasy show about a dude that just wants to run away. And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of this. I don't want to. I don't want this responsibility. I want to get out of here. But he's too good at what he does, and so he ends up just having to keep being whatever. He's failing upwards, basically. Um, that's coming, I believe, in a couple of weeks. That'll start. Uh, and also on Saturday, I don't, so I got three shows to watch this Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to watch all three. I'll probably figure it out. I am good. I know I'm going to re watch a uh, realist hero, but I don't know if I'll see strongest stage or, and, or, I don't know, uh, my dress up darling. I might wait on that and watch that like on Sunday or Monday. Um, my dress up darling, this dude who makes dolls never really had any friends doesn't really know like he's good at making these very specific dolls he also doesn't like know how to really like talk to people um he ends up meeting like the popular girl in school who is secretly really into cosplay and they form a partnership um uh and friendship and romance i don't know if there is but that's like a fun idea, and I know some people that are really into that particular um, manga. So I'm probably going to check that out, because I like a good romantic comedy or a good, like, fun little thing. And uh, since the only cute girls doing cute things show we got this season is uh, uh, is uh, Slow Loop, like, oh, I'll watch a romantic comedy or two. I'll get, get my fill that way. So those are the shows coming up that I'm definitely going to be checking out. There are more. Um, ah, it was Dulce Sloan that made that resolution. Thank you, Lord Crashton. Uh, I, yeah. I did not know who did it because I did not see that clip, but I believe it. Uh, I believe that is something that will be said on one of those programs as a, because of alcohol. Um, let's see. All right, so we'll put that on there, and then we'll get this here. Um, so yeah, that's the anime that, like, right now, like this week that I'll be watching, and there'll be more uh, that I'll be seeing, like as uh, as the week progresses, we'll start seeing the schedule fill up. Um, 
Uh, Realist Hero is on Funimation. Dress Up Darling is on Funimation. Um, Strongest Sage, uh, I believe, is Crunchyroll, but I don't have the actual information in front of me on that. So I have to guess, but I do believe that that is going to be a Crunchyroll joint. Um, again, don't know for sure. Uh, okay, so need some Bs and a G. Okay, new piece. If it's G or F, it's new for this kit. Um, said, uh, yes, yeah, said it live on CNN, and Don had her say it twice because he didn't understand what she said at first. I, I do love that. That's great. Like, me repeat that. I like to, you, know, you, you got to say that again. That is wonderful nonsense. Um, yeah, the, the CNN New Year's thing uh, devolves. And they keep doing it, so sure. Uh, let's see, other things I want to chat about. What are other things I got? I got, I got my list of like this topics. Um, a reminder, this Wednesday at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be doing my Wednesday bonus stream where I do something that is not model uh, uh, model building. And this Wednesday, I will be returning to the wonderful world of Dorf Romantique. Um, I have not played Dorf Romantique in a while. I played on my own. I haven't played on stream in a while. And I really like that game. I just want a chill Wednesday game. I think it's going to be like fun to do uh, a, a chill game here. Uh, there's also the biomes is what they call the like, uh, the style of the world you're building, the tiles. Um, and there's a winter biome. So we're going to use the winter biome because it looks, you know, there's going to have snow. There's snow on the trees. There's snow in the fields. It's a more muted color palette. It's a little harder kind of to see um, that you're connecting things properly than other um, uh, biomes. But I feel like let's let's use that right whatever it's holiday it's winter i'm not going to see snow outside my window i might as well see snow on uh in a video game so that's this wednesday uh, also we did have a tornado watch no tornadoes uh thank god but we did have a tornado watch around here uh so that was frightening and really fucking heavy winds like i was like oh maybe i'll go for a walk today and i was like oh i'm not going for a walk um and the temperature did drop. It is in the 50s. So late at night, it'll be even lower. During the day, it's about 50 degrees. So that is still, for this area, cold. It will get colder, but it's not going to get, like, actually cold. Like, oh, no, it's cold. Like, oh, I shaved my head, so I'm going to have to put my winter hat on because it's, like, 40 degrees out. Like, that's kind of what I'm going to be dealing with. So I'm not, like, freaked out about it. I mean, I wouldn't be freaked out about it, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that's the back of the arm, and this is the front of the arm. Yeah, so it goes like that. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, these arms have some custom parts here. I'm going to build the whole arm together, and then I will panel line it. So we're going to work on the shoulder part of this kit right now. Um, let's see. Other things I want to talk to you about. Uh, yesterday was a weird day for me, and I'll just kind of talk about it because it's good to talk about these things. So I will chat about them right now. Um, First off, I'm okay. Uh, no need to worry about anything, but I'll talk about it. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm tired. I guess I'm really tired. Like I didn't feel like I had any energy. There were things that I wanted to film yesterday and I was waiting like till afternoon, uh, later in the afternoon because that way the lighting will be better in here. Um, uh, cause there'd be less light coming, uh, from outside. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. I'll just wait till later. And then it was later, and I was just like, I had no energy, and I didn't feel great. And I was like, oh, I got sleep last night. I don't know what this is. Well, I'll go to bed early. And so I was just like chalked up to bed, like, oh, it was a, a, a whatever day. Huh. I'll just go to bed early. And then I couldn't fall asleep because I wasn't tired. I felt I had no energy, and I didn't feel great, but I wasn't tired. Couldn't fall asleep. And I'm laying there, and I'm thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh, oh, I'm depressed. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I felt that bad. I had like lethargic and no energy and no like drive or desire to do things. And like, oh, 
Like, I've felt bad pretty recently, but I haven't felt, like, that kind of bad. Like, what am I doing here kind of bad? And again, feeling better today, um, but it, uh, it was a thing where I was like, huh. And it's weird, because, like, I, I know myself pretty damn well these days. Like, I've grown over the last... I don't know, 10 years, 15 years, like I've grown to really start to understand my moods and who I am. Like I know when I am very frustrated and angry and I can like feel it where I'm like, Oop, oh, no, no, that came out right now. Like that, that vibe. I don't like this vibe. I'm going to like let people know that I am like short right now. And I would prefer not to be, but right now I'm a little short and it, you know, and I'm going to think on it and try not to like, be a fucking asshole about it um uh but yeah it it goes to show you like you can be pretty aware of what's going on but like it did not occur to me until very like two something in the morning uh this morning that i was like oh oh yeah i was feeling very depressed today and that's why i had like no drive to do anything uh and you know uh depression hits people differently um uh uh, you know, it affects people in different ways uh, and different uh, degrees. So not everyone's different. Every, not everyone's the same on that. But for me, for myself, I know what that was, but I just wasn't recognizing it in the moment. Uh, I had a better day today. I had stuff to do and I got that done. Like I shot, uh, I scripted a video, which I did not shoot today, but I will shoot uh, soon, but I scripted it. And then a video that I did not script, uh, I shot today because I, I want to put it up tomorrow for my patrons and for my uh, YouTube members. But I got a, a new series that's coming out on Wednesday. Uh, I'll talk about that a little bit before we get into the uh, pause of the cause, which is coming. But yeah, I got a, I got a new video series, I which I think will be will be fun. Um, starting on Wednesday, uh, that is a, a new series called "Do You Remember." Uh, and that is trying to find out if I can remember things that are hap that happened um, or, or things that I read specifically. So the idea is that I will find an article or, uh, uh, you know, like a newspaper thing or a Wikipedia entry or a Wikia, a WikiHow maybe even, stuff like that. I'm going to go look for something that strikes my interest. And then I'm going to read all about it. And then I'm going to well, save the tab so that I can bookmark or bookmark it so that I can include it in the show description so people can go and look at it. And then I'm not going to look at that anymore. And then I'm just going to talk about it. Uh, basically, as soon as I'm done reading it, I will hit record. Um, and then I will just regurgitate what I can, try to put, a, a, if there's, you know, if I have any thoughts on it, if I can make it funny. I'm going to do that. And I think this first one has a couple jokes in it. A couple, there'll be a couple laughs, but it's generally just me being like, what else can I remember of this specific thing that I just learned about? Um, uh, and the Wikipedia page for the first thing I talked about made me laugh. So when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. So I don't know. I think you'll like it. It's coming out on a Wednesday. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I mean, it, like I said, I just recorded it today, but I got that done. I was happy with that. And then I scripted a video that I've got to shoot probably tomorrow because I don't have a lot tomorrow. Um, and, you know, I don't stream on Tuesdays. And so tomorrow uh, I have some work to do on some other stuff, but then I should have time to shoot this video and finish the script for right? I review the script either tonight or tomorrow and then shoot it. And uh, looking forward to that because I think it's I think it's going to be good. I think people will like it. Um, uh, you know, I talked about packs, and that is certainly a thing that, like, right now is in the like. Oh, maybe it, maybe I'm going to go to that. Um, I don't. Ha one of the reasons why I'm interested in one because I do love going to the event. I love seeing people and doing all that. But uh, another thing is I. Um, I need things to look forward to. Right now, the, the, the next thing for me is thinking about doing my cooking stream because I'll be doing a cooking stream 
sometime while my folks are out of town because uh obviously if i'm doing a cooking stream i'm in the kitchen it's it's later at night uh that would be i'd be making a lot of noise in there so it's not a thing i want to do while they're home but since they will be out of town i will uh i will have the time and energy also i got to set up set it up it takes a while to set up all my gear in the kitchen uh i got to test audio because I don't think I can put this anywhere where I can use like this microphone. So that means I got to like get my headset out and get that all set up again. And it's been a while since I used that. So like I got to do all that stuff. So I'm like, uh, I can't just like throw that together. Uh, but that is the next thing that I am excited about doing on stream. Um, because I think that's really important to have it, for me anyway. I'll speak for myself alone. Uh, having things to look forward to is super important right now. Uh, deadlines are like whatever, but having stuff. Um, somewhat similar to that, I do have uh, a charity event in the end of April slash beginning of May that um, uh, I will have more details soon. I can't 100% confirm that I am taking part in this charity event. Uh, it looks assuredly like I will. Uh, and of course, like as I said, I will have more details on that soon when I have more details about it. Um, but I'll say it will be doing something I'm pretty good at, raising money. And uh, you may remember from last year, I had an incentive for this event. Uh, and I will continue that incentive of uh, every milestone of raising money on stream, on my stream. I will open a random pack of cards some kind of weird card thing i already have one that i just like happened to be in a store and i saw it so i already have one and then i'm just going to be looking for other ones again like for the next couple months uh i do want to try to go to a card shop um get some real weird ones uh because i am like i think i've like gone through all the weird ones i could get uh off of amazon so i gotta like go to a card shop but yeah i opened like card games i've never heard of uh card games of course i'm very familiar with uh and i'll get some well, there'll be some repeats right like there'll be a dragon ball card pack there'll be a Yu-Gi-Oh. there'll be a pokemon maybe uh i ended up with a japanese pokemon set but i'm gonna try to get some movie license ones like old weird movie licenses um and some old if i can get it old tv shows because that's always weird like why why were there cards for young indiana jones why why did that have like trading cards what was that you know i want to get i want to try to get like weird cards like that again uh also like i guess i could get sports cards i think i got like one pack of sports cards so maybe i'll do that but i am i'm excited about that event not just for the weird cards but also raising money for charity is that it's nice that I can uh, do that. So I believe I will be doing that as well. Uh, again, as I said. Um, all right. We got an art. We got a lot done on this kit. Now remember, we got double the amount of legs we normally do. So this is going to take two streams plus. We won't finish this on Thursday, uh, but we might get the other arm done and some of the waist um, uh, and legs done. A little bit of that done. But right now gotta do something important it's time for the pause for the cause if you are currently a subscriber here with the old bill with bear you can throw the bear cave the leg of the site the moat let the people know you're a subscriber it's an easy way to support what i do uh, uh using cash money or your prime gaming token if you have amazon prime linked with your twitch account you can do that um you could uh give the sub to somebody in the community you can see there uh we're at 47 out of 50 the the goal is to hit 50 subscribers if we hit that goal that'll be great tonight i'd just like to hit it by the end of the month and we got plenty of time this month to hit 50 so if you're uh thinking about becoming a subscriber you could do that or gifting a sub to somebody in the community if you can gift the sub you can convert that to a regular subscription at any time uh and uh, if you've been gifted the sub uh and you want to convert that they won't charge you until your gift sub has concluded um if you're new to the stream i'm going to be talking about ways you can support the channel because i you know gotta gotta um and then we'll get back to building but i i try to keep this as quick and informative as possible um 
Now is a great time to also, oh, also bits and coins. Harold uh, gave 50 bits to the top of the stream. Bits and coins, always appreciated. But if you don't want to help out through Twitch, you can support me in a different fashion, a different way. Um, uh, I got a Patreon. It'd be a great time to join my Patreon. I got a $1, $3, $5, $10 tier there. Different tiers, different rewards for the different tiers. So consider that uh, if you're thinking about supporting me in a different fashion than using Twitch. Um, uh, I have a YouTube channel, and I, I mentioned I have a brand new Wednesday series starting this week. Do you remember starting this week? Um, well, if you want to see that on Tuesday. Oh, and we just got a new subscription with Twitch Prime saying cheers. Uh, that's three months, so that is a renewal. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Rosa. Uh, I'm going to hit the old uh, applause here. And let's throw those emotes in there. Thank you very much, Rosef, uh, for subscribing for three months. Appreciate that very much. Uh, thank you for using your Prime Gaming token on little old me. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to see my Wednesday videos on Tuesday, you could do that with YouTube memberships. That's $2 a, a month on, on the old YouTube. Um, and also direct donations. I have a coffee. I've got a, a you can do the coffee or through PayPal. You can do direct donations if once a month is not something you're interested in doing, but a one-time gifted donation, you could do that. And everything I make through um, uh, uh, donations, through uh, YouTube ad, ad revenue, through Patreon, through Twitch, goes to buying model kits and equipment. Um, I actually just bought because uh, my Patreon money uh, went through. Um, I just bought a uh, model kit for that charity event that I was talking about at the end of April. I just bought a very weird kit for that stream because, and if I, if it ends up that I don't end up doing the charity thing because they got people who are more famous than me um, and they don't have room for me on the schedule, which fine, if that's, if that's what ends up happening, that's what ends up happening. Um, then I'll just, uh, I will just build it on my own. And it'll be fine. Um, because it's a good kit that I think y'all will like. Uh, okay, what else? What else? What else? Um, okay, yeah. Ways to support me financially. I have an Amazon wish list. I mentioned that, I think, tonight. Um, and uh, if you want me to, like, look, I've got, I've got a backlog. i got a bunch of stuff. Those are boxes for kits, some of which I haven't built yet, some of which I have built. But if you want to jump the queue, you could. You buy something on my Amazon wish list. I'll build that the next time I'm ready to start a new kit. It'll be the thing you bought. Uh, I got this mega construct uh, alien queen from aliens in there. That would be a weird thing to build. So I put that in there. Some Lego sets, some high grade kits, um, uh, inexpensive kits, very expensive kits. Uh, I have the four kits that I don't currently have from um, the uh, from Gundam uh, Build Divers, or sorry, not Build Divers, Gundam battle log gundam breaker battle log um the astray red frame inversion because it's inverted colors uh the command quanta gunpla uh the maquis gundam uh it's also called um and the uh, helios gundam and of course the perfect strike freedom uh battle log kit uh, i got all those there and i would be happy to build them a um, bunch of other stuff on that list uh inexpensive things very expensive things things that are like why is that price like that but yeah i'd build it sure um and i'd be happy to pick those up and a couple pieces of equipment and again if you bought something from my wish list it jumps the queue and make a video about it um that is a way to uh support me alternatively if you're like i don't want to buy stuff on amazon i get that i totally get that you can go to USA Gundam store and you can um, buy a gift card to USA Gundam store and then send me that gift card code and then I'll, I'll build it on stream. That's another, that is another option for y'all is to do that. Uh, you can just buy something uh, and I'll, I'll build it there. Um, uh, I'll buy something and then build it. Uh, let's see, other things. Uh, I got a couple other things too. To reference here, uh, real briefly, uh, Discord. I have a Discord. That's a way to support me and not spend any money is join my Discord. 
uh nice people in there i post build photos at the end of every stream people will stuff they're working on it's cool join that discord um let's see other things that we can talk about um couple video links for you a new episode of pat bear's anime club now if you watched the wednesday stream you saw me record this as a stream this is my fall review or slash winter preview uh, if you missed the stream now here's the archive on my youtube and you can watch that there uh, episode of pat bear's anime club and then also there's the best of build with bear this is the final best with build with bear best of build with bear because i said as i said new series coming this wednesday this was the last one uh this clip best of build with bear is a clip of me uh stumbling on my words when i was talking about SantaCon and how i'll never miss SantaCon. and what i meant was that I will never uh, uh, think, uh, I will never think like fondly about it. I will never cr like wish that I could be there. But it sounded like I said, I'll never miss SantaCon like I always attend it. Um, so, you know, words. Uh, that, was, that was fun to uh, goof around a bit in. Uh, and that's the end of that. All right, I'm going to drink a little water and then we're going to talk about some, uh, some manga and manhwa. And then we'll get into uh, talking about some games, I'm sure. But uh, let me drink some water. Dramatic. A dramatic transition. All right. We did one arm. Now we're going to do the other arm. Very similar. It's I. It, this is this is basically almost identical, except for you know. It's the left arm instead of the right arm, but it's it's pretty much the same. Anyway, let's start talking about the lady wants to rest. Um, this is a manhwa. It is a there's some action in it, but it's 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 an isekai. I mean, style different world. Re no no sorry, it's not a re it's not an isekai. It is a reincarnation series. So you know, not from a different world. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we find out she is. But anyway, uh, our main character. Uh, we open with her on her 53rd life. She has been reincarnated 53 times. And uh, apparently this particular one did not go well. Uh, this one is a real fucking bummer. And she's really feeling awful about it. Um, so she's like, as she's dying, having everyone that she know died in, in brutal combat, uh, she basically vows in the next life, you know what, in this next one, I'm going to fucking take it easy. I'm going to live the slow life. I'm going to like relax and figure out a way to not deal with all of this bullshit and have like, I don't know, something much more chill. That That's the goal, right? And she wakes up in her new body, in her new life, with new memories. And she's, I think, 17 or 18 uh and the bot she's taken over a body so she didn't reincarnate from childhood she took over the body of and we come to find out this girl died of a fever um she's now a like princess but maybe it's not really a princess but she's like the child she is she's like maybe an empress maybe not an empress maybe a baroness or something they call her princess but she's mostly just like a high-ranking person um but uh, she's neglected in the family. Uh, her half-brother doesn't really pay any attention to her. Her stepmother is cruel to her. And her father watches it happen and is distant. Um, I get the vibe that he's like that because um, she looks so much like uh, her mother who died. And he is just, you know, regretful about that. So he's not looking. Anyway, our girl is like i'm not putting up with this shit at all like no you're gonna come in here and yell at me i'm not gonna deal with that it's like no no we're good we're, we're not dealing we're not doing this like oh these this girl is gonna mistreat me like this you know the staff there is horrible to her and they always have been well she's a different person now and so she's just like yeah no you're not gonna do that like who do you think you are um like, I am the daughter of, you know, like, your boss. Insulting me is insulting him. Is that how you're going to do things? Um, like, you're not going to get to do that. 
So she, yeah, she, she, she basically is just like, and of course, gets to her father. She has to appear in front of her father about what's going on, and she's just like, okay, well, um, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I was like, what, are, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, you don't want me here. I don't want to be here, so I'm out. Uh, which nobody really takes seriously, but she's like, yeah, no, that's what's happening. Uh, you all hate me. If you don't hate me, you treat me like garbage. So you have a bad way of showing that you don't hate me. So I'm out of here. Uh, and she's got a, uh, the only person, a young, uh, a young maid, the only person that, uh, ever treated her kindly is like, let me come with you. I don't have anyone. I, I thought I would serve you forever. Uh, so please let me come with you. And she's, she's spunky. She's nice. Uh, so she comes along. Also, uh, we, our main character starts showing like her vast knowledge of the world and abilities that she shouldn't have. Like she can play music and she shouldn't have any of those abilities. And then when called on it, she's just like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm a genius. And the maid is just like, oh, yeah, all right, cool. Uh, there is a, a bit of a conversation where she's like, I liked you then, but I also like you now. I like this version of you that is not that is confident and it's not putting up with anything but i did like the other version of you too and i, I like that that is a nice thing because this is a, this girl is going to be different it's not you know like she took over for this body anyway um at the point where i stopped reading this they are now in a free state and uh with that has like the best academy in the world which was one of her uh one of her previous uh incarnations or reincarnations founded that school for as a school for for orphans uh and now it has grown she said uh that was the best life i've ever had the best version of any life i've ever led was this one so she did have some happiness at one point um and she uh she enrolls in school and uh gets the best score anyone has ever had on the entrance test and of course because she wants to lay low she's like negotiating that like you can't tell anyone i did well and all this other stuff is happening um and you know there'll be some other characters appearing and her trying to like not stand out but obviously stand out because she is brilliant and is like there's no way she won't stand out in front of all this and it's pretty good i don't know if i'm gonna keep reading it it's fine um i like the take i like that it's a reincarnation tale that's like 50 something years so she's like just like, yeah, I'm not, oh, 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 I'm not going to like, she's like, I want a slow life and no one expects anything of me in this house. So I could stay here, uh, but then I have to deal with these people being assholes to me and I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I do appreciate that. I do like that. She's just like, she could have stayed there. And she's just like, oh, no, 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 no. Then, then these people would walk all over me. And that's going to be a big thing that's going to keep her from being the actual life that she, the life she wants is that people are like, gonna, she's still going to do the right thing and people are going to depend on her. I don't know. It was pretty good. That is The Lady Wants to Rest. Um, yeah, I would check that out. And uh, so you may remember from last season, there was uh, a anime that is based on a manga about a girl that can see ghosts. Hey, not Sly, just rated with a party of nine. Welcome, everybody. Um, we'll do the real quick thing. We'll get back to building here. Uh, uh, sliding in. Well, welcome. Uh, the not slide test team sliding in. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome, everybody. I'm gonna hit the old uh, inbox here. Uh, intro and hi, I'm Pat Bear. Um, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, and, uh, Pemi, uh, thank you for the follow. Um, welcome. I'm Pat Bear. This is the Build with Bear workshop, uh, model kits and Lego sets. Uh, we're working on the Barbatoris, which is from Gundam Breaker Battlelog, where they remix a lot of, uh, kits from the past. So this is a Barbatos from Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans mixed with the Kamaris uh from iron blooded orphans uh which was a four-legged thing what was the actual name of that one uh yes the kamaris trooper which was four-legged so this thing's gonna have four legs it's demonic it's the bad it's the bad gundam uh so we're working on that and we'll get back to that uh but i did want to pop in here welcome 
Um, if you're new, I build model kits here on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. On Wednesday, we do stream, but we don't do model kits. We just do something else. Uh, this week, we'll, I'll be checking out, uh, returning to the wonderful video game Dorf Romantique, which is like, it is a resource thing, uh, playing tiles. It's a tile layer, uh, digital game, um, that is really fun. Um, it's kind of like single player Carcassonne mixed with Ticket to Ride, kind of, um, but very chill. I just want a chill game, but I'm playing that on Wednesday. Right now, obviously, working on this big kit here. Um, let's see. Let's get this together. That goes like that. Okay. Um, and I was talking about a manga that I've been reading called uh, uh, Recon. That's R-E-K-A-N, uh, which refers to someone that can see spirits. Because this is a, um, a jokey joke. Uh, four panel coma uh, so it is a, a, a comedy format a manga series about a girl that moves to a new town uh, she's going to school a new school and uh, the people there are like trying to be friendly with her and like talk to her and it's very clear that our main girl can see spirits um, now it's not frightening like uh, Moroko chan which ha which came out last season as an anime adaptation and is terrifying the jokes in that one are, Hey, look at this girl try to act like she can't see ghosts that are unbelievably terrifying. Well, in Raycon, uh, Recon, I should say, um, we don't see the spirits. We maybe, maybe see like them reacting to things and maybe see them like a little bit of interaction. But for the most part, we're just uh, seeing the main girls like responding to these ghosts uh, because it's that's the joke is just like, her kind of being like nonchalant about the weirdness of it. And then the people around her believing her or not believing her. Uh, Cause there's like a girl who's like, I don't believe in any of this, but then she clearly does. Um, but so she's a little sooner about it and it's fine. Um, uh, it's silly. Oh, also she can understand some animals. So she knows what cats are thinking and, all cats are perverts. They're always just thinking about looking at girls. Uh, that is a recurring gag of like somebody going like, hey, what's that cat thinking of uh, talking about? What are those cats talking about? They're talking about sex uh, just all the time, uh, which is like uh, I, I, the amount of uh, chapters I read that already had gotten old, but it's fine. Um, there are reoccurring characters of like, ghost that she's met like there's like a ghost like come here come here and then she's just like actually i have errands to do i'll come over there tomorrow and it's just like pretty fun um or like she gave a gift to a ghost and then that ghost that was like the ghost needed it to ascend and then she's like oh i like that ghost i don't get to see that ghost anymore um it's it's pretty dang silly um and yeah, I would say that I recommend it. If you are looking for uh, kind of a jokey comic, if you, if you like those those four panel uh, comas, as I say, the uh, the joke structure. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cute. Um, I, I think I'm going to keep reading it. Um, you know, obviously they're also pretty short because it's just like, ah, pardon me. It's just like joke, 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 you know, punch, set up, punch line move on so it moves pretty quickly um and that's that's what i've been reading uh, those the, that and uh as i said or talking before the lady uh wants to rest other the manhwa that i've been reading uh i got a few that i'm going to be checking out soon uh and of course i always like to talk to y'all about those uh as i go because it's fun of course uh, I don't. I probably won't talk about manga this weekend because there's so much new anime starting uh, that I think I will focus on all of the new anime. Uh, so get ready for that because there's, like I said, uh, um, Thursday I will have one new show and then Saturday I will have three or four new shows. I don't know if I'm going to watch, like, because I said three of them come out on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to watch all three, but... I'll definitely watch two of those. Oh, you know, I'll watch two and then the one show on Friday. Uh, but I'm excited about having a bunch of anime that I want to watch because this past season 
I didn't have that many shows that I wanted to check out. So uh, excited for that. All right. Now we're going to build the shoulder again. Uh, we'll get onto the shoulder here. Um, let's see. Video game wise, I'm, pl I'm still playing. I'm just, you know, I'm a broken record here. Uh, I'm still playing a lot of uh, Halo Infinite multiplayer. I, I played a little bit of the single player, but I'm mostly focused on multiplayer because I have a crew that wants to play. And I am afraid that I'm going to lose that crew as people like find other games and other things that they want to do. So I am, I am very like, okay, well, while I have my friends who want to play, let's play. Because uh, sometimes we'll get eight people together. And that's just fun and nonsense. That is, that is, a, that is a good bit of complete and utter nonsense. So um, I am, uh, as I said, I am just so happy to have people. Uh, what are y'all playing right now? Anybody getting anything or watching stuff? If you're if you're watching, uh, you know, you got a new YouTube series that you're you're going into. Um, uh, uh, what is the? I'm watching a thing. I have to look up the name of it. It's a new show. Um, it's not not just new to me. It literally is new. Um, so I gotta go find the name. What I wrote there. Uh, the Jimmy Carr host set. And I, I gotta look up the name of it, but you know it's a British uh, panel show. Um, but this is a, like season one of it. I, I like that they call it like series one, which is very funny because that just it to me seems presumptuous. They're like, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get to do more of these. Um, uh, I literally just told you is the name of it. It's called I literally just told you, and um, uh, a lot of the um, uh questions from it are written during the show um because they they'll give like here's this person here's some facts about them and they go over to another person now where are they from and we'll ask them questions and then jimmy kind of just like jimmy will literally say so they'll go like so where is alex horn uh, born and then the other person will go um i think they said something about and then jimmy will say literally i literally just told you um, and they have a couple people writing things during it, like I said, and then sometimes those people are the punchline as well. Uh, oops, I put this on upside down. Uh, I recommend it. You can find it on, on YouTube. They're up there. Um, Oz Martin puts a bunch of stuff up there so you can find them there. Uh, it's pretty good so far. Um, let's see. I got that Pokemon Pearl remake and I forgot how much fun it is to beat up kids, pets, and then take their lunch money. Indeed. Um, new Monster Hunter is out on PC next week. Oh, good. Dirty. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's finally out, right? Or, yeah. Uh, I feel like finally. Uh, Aristophan, I've been playing Inscription and then watching the Waypoint streams as I progress. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, some people fell off of Inscription. I absolutely adored it. Uh, I thought it was great. I mean, I like card, I like card building games. And I don't like spooky stuff, but I don't I don't mind atmospheric spooky. I just don't like jump scare spooky. So it was it was good. I thought that was like a cool, weird, fun game. And like it goes places that I was really into where it was going. Um uh Dirty says the fix. Uh Lord Crash says decided to start up Symphony of the Night. Okay. After getting through that Vinny Vania series which I'm using a map so I can avoid not knowing where to go. Ah. Nice. So yeah, so you're doing, you're not going to do the like, hmm, I think I just opened up something. Well, I got a new ability. You're taking the Vania out of your, uh, of your Metro, or the Metroid out of your Castlevania. Your Metroidvania, I should say. I messed that up really bad. You're making it easier for yourself. I'll just say that. But I, I was trying to be cute and that didn't work. Um, but that's cool. Uh, I hope you have fun. Um, let's see other things. Oh, I did, um, New Year's Eve. I did some, I finally did some multiplayer or power wash simulator. And I don't know if I talked about that on stream. I can't remember, but, uh, it's, uh, that multiplayer is nonsense. It's very fun, but it's very chaotic and silly. I only, I only did it with one other person just doing the multiplayer like co-op. That was very silly 
Uh, and but I did like it. I did enjoy it. Um, hey, Dunk, welcome. Uh, Lord Crash says I always got stuck talking about uh, Symphony of the Night uh, and give up uh, and gave up on the game. So I'm just using a map to avoid that. Yeah, why not? Whatever. You're playing that game how you want to play it. I don't got a problem with that. Live your best life, as the as the saying goes. Uh, all right, so we're gonna panel on this real quick, and then we'll get back to. Then we'll like I don't know what's next. We I think I think we do a set of front legs. Yeah, we're gonna start working on front legs, and then we're gonna build back legs. Uh, and then I guess we'll do waist. So yeah, we're jumping from top half down to legs in a moment. So we'll get to that. But we gotta panel line this first. It's important. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I was watching this YouTube series, which I'm not gonna promote because it was like uh, we we find these old vehicles and we like restore them. And I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. And like, hey, we're kind of weird. And I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. And then like I watched the episode and they were just like real weird about like we converted this thing and they were just like weird about the previous owners and i was like what's happening here i don't know that was just like unnecessarily cruel uh and i was like oh you're you're that kind of like homophobic because you don't realize that you're hurting people kind of homophobic like oh you just don't know that you've had friends who are queer because they hide it kind of a person and i was like oh well, I'm I'm done here. I it was already like fine, but I was like these videos weren't like incredible and I was like, "Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Nobody needs this. Nobody nobody needs your weird take on like the people that owned this vehicle before uh and how you're like can't say like you're making a very big deal about them." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, I'm out of here." Um uh let's see. Uh, Lord Crashings, it says, I'm trying to use more guides to avoid dropping the older games I want to beat because I only care about having fun and getting past obstacles instead of just giving up. Yeah, I hear that. I understand that. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Last week says, so I've been on occasional kick of watching old anime I never watched today. Today I watched Dragon Half at All Purpose Cultural Cat Girl Nuku Nuku, Nuku uh, while playing Pokemon, and they're both okay. I was not expecting Nuku Nuku to be so... So literally a cat girl. Yeah. All-purpose cultural cat girl is... Yeah. That one's fine. I don't remember Dragon Half. I know I watched Dragon Half. I don't remember it. Uh, but yeah, watching old anime can be fun. You know, like... I mean, some of those dubs weren't good at the time. And they certainly aren't good now. But uh, some of them hold up and are okay. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there's Retro Crush. Tubi has a lot of old anime on there as well. You can find that stuff pretty pretty easy. Bad Gumpla just raided with 33 viewers. Ridiculous. Welcome. Hello. Um, welcome. The Bad Gumpla squad is here. Well, welcome, welcome. Let's throw the intro over here. Hi, everybody. I'm Pat Bear. Uh, I build uh, Gunpla and Lego sets. Um, uh, right now, I'm working on the Barbatoris. Uh, who? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that, uh, Nino Panda. Uh, the Barbatoris is a Barbatos from uh, Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Uh, what was the Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans? We'll say the full thing. Um, mixed with the Trooper, uh, the Kamaras Trooper, which was a four legged creature. Um, I just finished the Barbatoris, uh, says Nino. Nice. Yeah, um, I would have built this sooner. But I pre-ordered this kit from USA Gundam Store, and they had like a shipment issue, which I get. I fucking understand. Also, when everyone was putting up pre-orders for these breaker kits, uh, it wasn't clear that Target was going to be ex having like a timed exclusive. Uh, so that was for... Uh... Yes, uh, it is the Barbatos with the Kamaras. Yes, um, it is a mix of the Barbatos and the Kamaras with some new pieces like... Um, of the Gundam Breaker Battle Log, we'll go back to the overhead. I just want to say hi. Um, of the Gundam Breaker Battle Log kits, this is the most customized. Now, the Live Lance Heaven, you could say that's basically a Death Scythe Hell, but inverted colors, some new parts. But this has a lot of new parts. This has like a ton of new stuff. Also, it's a 2015. 
Barbatos. So it is also one of the more modern kits uh, because a couple of them are from 2010. The Command is like a 2010 kit. The um, the new gun, the, the new like God Gundam repaint is a. I, I think that kit might be 2008. That, yeah, that's a really old one. But I've been building some of them. Uh, in the very background back there, you can see the Goop custom. Uh, the Goof Crimson custom, which is just, there's no, the only new parts for that are parts that they included so that if you want to mix and match parts, which is a big thing with Breaker, that you can actually do that. But other than that, the Goof is basically just that Goof, um, only it is lovely red colors. It is a fantastic color scheme. But anyway, we fin just finished the upper half. So now I guess we'll, we got, we got some time up the stream. We're going to like build the feet. Um... But yeah, folks that came in on the raid, welcome. Um, uh, we were kind of talking like very loosely about how uh, um, the only one you have is the Estray inversion. Yeah, um, uh, rusted that. Yeah, that I believe that's just like that's just a color swap, right? Like we have the command unit, um, the ground command, which is just a color swap. Um, some of them are like some new parts. Uh, like, but the sky, the Gundam wing, the wing zero sky is just a paint swap. I don't think there's any new parts. Uh, oh, it does come with a different head. Yeah. Is your hip joint super loose as well? Uh, so, uh, let's see on, on that one, uh, this kit, we, we don't have right now. Oh, well, no. Oh, okay. I will say, um, yeah, I'm going to probably pop a little blue tack in here. That does feel very loose. Now we'll see how it feels when I'm when I'm putting some weight on it, but um, I don't particularly like that. Yeah, I, I'm probably gonna hit some blue tack on there. I mean that that is the new part, you know. So sometimes they, you'd expect that if Bandai is gonna be doing their own kit bashing, which a lot of this really feels like that's what it is, you'd think that they would do a bit of a better job because they're Bandai and I'm me, but uh. A little super glue, okay. Uh, it does come with a, the head. Oh yeah, for the hand, super glue it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a little bit of super glue will help with that. I would probably just stick a little bit of blue tack in there, just kind of, so that way I can remove it if I do want to um, take stuff apart. Because um, I will when I have all of them. Because eventually I will. I, I own. I there are four of them that I don't have yet. Uh, and I've built a couple of them, and now I'm, I have a couple of other ones that I want to build. I'm going to build all of them, and when I built all of them, I do want to do the, like, mix and match thing, because it's kind of weird, and follow their instructions on that, or their suggestions of the mixing and matching. So, but yeah, so I probably won't do glue. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, right? Um, now, if I was just going to put this on display, super glue, like a, a drop of super glue would be good, right? Yeah. Because that way I'll just pose it the way I want or put it on a stand and, and just kind of call it. Um, but yeah, I, I hear you on that. But since I am going to be like probably taking this apart at some point, um, basically I'm going to build all the kits. And then when I've built all of them, I will, uh, after that, I will then, mm -hmm. which make sure that I'm, yeah. Yeah, once I once I've built all of them, then I'm probably gonna put them together and do the fancy thing. You go like that, or it goes like that. That that is right. Okay, that locks in. Uh, Chimera the shit out of them. Yeah, right. Like some of them are just like put these arms on here, and they some of the the suggested ones like look kind of interesting, but this one's just like like why why would I make it look like that? My big thing is if I'm gonna mix and match and create my own Gundam, and I have four legs. Why would I, why would I ever, like, make it a two-legged version? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Of course I, like, what are you, what are you, what are you even saying? Like, given the option, I would 100%, like, there's no way I wouldn't make it a four-legged version. Like, that's clearly the best, like, way to go. There's, there, there shouldn't be another option. Um, We were talking about that before, like, I want more kits like uh, the speaking because uh, we got raided by uh, Bad Gunpla who put together the Plastic Model Weekender. On the Plastic Model Weekender last year, um, I put together the Woodham Pod, 
which is just like a weird robot kit. I like those weird ones. It's got like, it's got good karate kick poses and like weird, it, it feels more like an insect than it does like a humanoid kit. And I love that. Um, more of that, please. More dragons. There, There's like probably like half a dozen dragons in all of the Gundams. And that's not enough, in my opinion. I need more dragons. What are we? What are we doing here? Right? Like, I, we need more of those those weird things. I want more like, like you get that in actually in um, Iron Blood Orphans, but I want more stuff that's like clearly used to be construction equipment and is now a Gundam, you know, or a mobile suit like the ball. This is like, yeah, it's a ball and it's got like arms, and then they put a gun. They put two different kinds of guns on it. Like, yeah, that's what I want. I want that. Like, like more of that, please. Uh, I just want a revive of the Virgo, too. Yeah, okay. I, 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 yeah, all right. Um, but, yeah, I like that about, like, Iron Blood Orphans with, like, the jaws of life as a weapon. Or just, like, this is a big chunky guy with a hammer. And you're like, yeah, sure. Perfect. Yeah, I want kits that were like, this wasn't intended to be a mobile suit but it is now or like um gundam age right gundam age is one of their mass production mobile suits is a dragon how's that only in what how could that not like more of that like please what, what what are we doing here you gotta you gotta make more like weird really weird things Otherwise, like, wh wh why are we bothering? Like, I, I don't know. I, I just want, like, I don't know. I guess I'm a broken record on that, but. I want more. I want more weird shit like that. I love the idea of a mass-produced dragon thing with, like, a somewhat of a converted flight mode. It's already a dragon, and they're like, no, it converts. Uh, I hope they make an RG of the H2. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... I mean, they're doing interesting real grades right now, like the high new Gundam. I didn't think that, that, I mean, that real grade is, first of all, that real grade is beautiful. But I also was surprised that they did that. Um, uh, which, what real grade did I pre-order? Oh, I got the Exia Repair 2. That one, I'm not surprised. The Exia Repair 2 is uh, that that real grade is coming. Because uh, the Exia, I feel like, like yeah, that that's popular enough that they they would make that. But I I I don't know. I don't know if Gundam Age you would see new stuff of. I want more kits which are just super robots in disguise. Yeah, super robot. I mean, the beauty of the Reborn One Hundred, the RE One Hundred series, was we got like the Hama Hama, um, RE One Hundred. Like we got some weird weird kits in that line, which is which is why I loved it really weird stuff um and now like the new full mechanics are kind of the re100s but not but they're like definitely not master grades um uh, so it's just like it, it that that is feeling really weird right now that line because it's like uh they're basically doing a different version of the calamity and then they're putting out the um the uh the raider gundam which is cool looking um and i'm gonna get it um i got all 10 uh uh hggbb kits from new type on their christmas sale oh nice cool cool um recently finished the custom which is like uh the an extreme over the top version of wing oh an extreme over the okay nice i like that um you know i always thought the uh the green wing zero was pretty classy. I think the colors on that were great. That is the, um, it's the, it's the build fighters is build fighters or is it fighters? I forget. Try. I can't remember, but there's that. Like, it's basically like the wing, but green. Uh, and I always thought that was like a pretty cool, uh, version of it. Fighters try that Venice. Thank you. Venice. Yes. Um, I built that and I liked it. Um, what I want is like the Love Phantom, which is basically just like a death a death scythe with spider arms. Like that shit was good. Like that was like 
good and weird. And that those those are the things I like. Like the Barbatoris here is a Barbatos centaur. Like, yes, please, that more of that. These are weird choices that are being made, and I enjoy those weird choices. Like that that's definitely what I'm looking for uh in these kind of like remix series. Or like um oh uh the superhero guy um from Rerise that basically like has like the Xeon Gundam. Like that thing is so weird and great, but it's like yeah, this really does feel like it's a it's a typical Gundam, but also like if Xeon had one. Like it's such a weird, strange thing. Love Phantom is a kit bash of the Strike Freedom, the Death Sight, and the Strike Noir. Yes, totally. And like the Odory Strike Noir, kind of like uh a little bit of the, the you know, a little bit of that. Uh currently making an ashtray, which is inside a giant bulky power armor. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I don't do any, um, well, that's not fair. I have done one kit bash. I like took a bunch of um, Iron Blood and Orphans kits and made my own like lost Gundam because for folks that don't know, Iron Blood and Orphans, basically it's after Calamity and they find some of the Gundams, but all of them are um, references from the Book of the Dead. They're all like each one, uh, Barutos, Ball. All, all of these um, uh, are references. So there are a bunch that never got made, and I just like took a name and made my own. They're demons. Yes, they're demons. I said from the book of the dead, I should say. They're demons from the book of the dead. Um, and so I just took a, a name that hadn't been used and made my own uh, shanks and just made my own uh, a kit bash. And that's the only time I've done a kit bash. I, I, I'd be up for doing it again. Uh, it was it, that was a fun time. I basically, like took a couple Iron Blood Orphan kits so that it definitely looked like a demon, and then um, some of the like arms and weapons off of. Oh, uh, what kit was that from? What kit did I take for that from? So this goes like this, and this is gonna go. Pull that up. Hold this down. Um. Oh, I took weapons from the oh the psycho the psycho Zaku. That had like a, you know, those weird, cool arms uh, on its giant, extra, too big backpack. I took those. That was fun. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I would maybe do it again. I don't know for sure. Okay, so why is this not doing what I want to do? Because it should go like this. That doesn't seem right. So am I... Hmm. When in doubt, take the other one. And again... Once I get this the first time, the second time, it'll be a lot easier. And then we're going to take a step back to see if I did this wrong in this step. Okay, so this goes like this. This goes like this. Uh, oh, I don't have it. Uh, I'm, unfortunately, I can't show that off. I apologize. I don't have that in a way to, to show the, the kit bashing that I did. But it turned out pretty good. Um, uh, it was it was an interesting experiment. Uh, I don't know if I would do it again, but I did have fun with it in the moment. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? What is going on with this? Again, what I can also do is look at the images here. Sometimes that'll help. No, I know. Uh, we'll go. Did I, are these the right legs? This is that. That's possible. Okay, here we go, folks. Uh, these are the back legs, not the front legs, or these are uh, different pieces, uh, and that's why these aren't right, because these are the wrong legs, or feet, I should say. These are the wrong feet. Um, and I was like, why won't this line up right? And I was like, oh, because it's the, it's the wrong part. Uh, we're getting towards the end of my stream tonight, and this happens now and again, where I just like think I'm pulling out the right part, and I'm not. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, always try to give this advice and a lot of y'all know this because uh, i'm certainly no expert i just have done this for a while um you know if it doesn't feel like it's almost 99 percent of the time if you're like this should fit this doesn't fit right like it's supposed to just 
double check. Make sure you have the right part because you might just be doing it wrong. You could just be completely and utterly wrong and just have the wrong part and you're like fucking it up. Uh, there certainly are occasions where like, oh, it's a tight fit or like, oh yeah, I I've heard about this. It actually like doesn't fit right and like you got to do this and do that and then it'll work. Like that's certainly a possibility, but it's more likely that you're just like, I'm never wrong. The kid is wrong. Yeah. Right. But like, maybe you were mistaken. Maybe you are distracted. Uh, you know, I, I make more mistakes on stream than I do when I would just, uh, if it's not going to be right, maybe it's because you're doing it wrong. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I pulled this piece out instead of this piece. I pulled the back leg or back feet instead of the front feet. They're next to each other. I grabbed 11 instead of 10. That makes a lot more sense than this, that I'm like, somehow this part doesn't fit with this part. Like, it's like, oh yeah, no, it makes a lot more sense that I just did it wrong. And then I'm like doing it right. And then it'll go in and it'll be like, oh yeah. Like, yeah, this just, and this is still a tight fit, but it, actually works instead of the alternative which was it didn't work oh <laughs> you dare it suggest i did something wrong right i i know i mean that's why i said like oh it's not that you did something wrong it's that like i was just distracted y'all i just got very distracted in the moment i was so focused on getting these feet done because we are going to finish these feet up before we uh call tonight quits and i was like i was just too focused on doing it that i like pull the wrong thing out but that this is not the first nor will be the last time i just like grab the wrong part because it looked similar to the one i needed um the first time i built a uh a barbatos or any of the iron blood orphans because almost all of the iron blood orphans gundams are, are a similar structure the first time i had to build the this kind of like chess piece the hunched over element of it threw me off so much like, just the idea that it would be like, this one's less than some of the other ones, but the idea that it would be like this, like, hunched over, like, concave kind of thing, I just, just like, dumbfounded the first time I built one of those. And I built one, like, that. eventually they called them full mechanics, but at the time they were just non-grades. I built a non-grade, and I was like, what? Like, 100 scale, like, I was like, what is this? And then eventually I was like, Oh, okay. I'm not gonna fuck this up on any of these other kits. Uh, yeah, it's it. So it's this weird thing, but uh, rustic. Whereas they're they're attempting to make it more demonic than humanoid, but it actually is more humanoid than some of Gundams from other series. Um, you know, the idea that the feet are are often uh, uh, more like paws, and the arms uh, not not the, not these hands, but some hands on some of those kits are more like claws. Uh, you know, yeah, it's attempting to make it more of a humanoid, like a demonic thing, more skeletal. Yeah, it is It is an attempt to make it a bit more skeletal, but it is like going for this like demon vibe more than your standard like cutesy uh, um, Gundam, uh, which is uh, which I always liked because, I mean, the name says it all. Iron Blooded Orphans is a is a sad anime. It is a it's a, it's a rough series on purpose. It is meant to be rough. It is not hiding the fact that it is a black. It is a story of people failing, trying real hard and not succeed and succeeding for a while. Just succeeding long enough to make the fall even more sad. It has orphans in the title. Uh, it is the it is the modern Gundam series. Uh, uh, it is the modern Gundam series that is not afraid to like remind you that these are child soldiers. Um, cutesy. I've never heard someone refer to Gundam as cutesy. Well, I would say comparatively cutesy, right? Like, uh, I mean, some I mean, obviously. You know, you've got you've got your Harbor Harbo, you know, uh, friends that are that are that are going for the cute things. You know, you got your you got your model kit bears, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about like 
comparative like i don't know there there are some gundams that are straight up goofy uh those little bear gundam yeah um but even like you know like the most badass gundam out there or mobile suit out there like so like i don't know they don't always have terrifying looking faces right they're not they, they often just were like handsome in a way they're made to look like they're made to look like armor that knights would would have and not all of them look like they came out of hell like this kit is trying to look like this is trying to look like this is a centaur from hell and y'all are fucked have a good night um we're actually gonna wrap up as well now uh we had uh samurai yes breaking totally uh samurai although there is plenty of knights uh throughout but yeah so somewhere kind of in there but but the you know uh basically looking like giant armor um so we wrapped up here we are going to raid uh, that is how i end every stream um uh we had two raids tonight which is fucking rad um it's very very kind of people to come in um so what is different about this? We are probably not going to raid another model kit builder uh, because I often pick people who are on the West Coast that I know personally, and occasionally I, the, the, those are builders. But uh, you are logging off right when I click in about 75% of the time. Yeah, uh, uh, Shayton, uh, I wish... I wish that you could see um, the VOD will be up and uh, I appreciate you coming. But yeah, I do try to keep 9 to 11 p.m. Uh, as my stream time. I occasionally go over, but I do try to keep it around there because uh, after two hours, I start making bigger mistakes than the mistake I made there where I was like unsure of a part. Like I, I start getting close to fucking up like like, oh, no, I have to go get the liquid cement fucking up. So I keep the two hours for my model kit streams, occasionally more, but most of that. Um, so we are going to raid. We're going to go find someone cool. And like I said, um, they might, they, they probably won't be a builder, but they will be nice people with a nice community because that is a goal of mine is that I'm always going to raid something that like you'll have fun with, like somebody who is cool uh, or, or just like chill. Um, actually, it is going to be a builder. Um, Jordan doesn't always build. He's a variety streamer, um, Ray FK. Uh, but tonight he is model kit building. So we are going to go raid uh, Jordan. Uh, and also he's working on the Barbatoris, which literally I've been working on. So that is just very funny. Uh, so we're going to go raid Jordan, who's literally working on the same goddamn kit. Uh, that is so weird. Uh, I love that that's what he's working on. Uh, Jordan, a.k.a. Ray FK, is great people. Uh, does a lot of variety stuff, but happens to be the model kit tonight, so we're going to go hang out with him. Thank you for everybody that came in. Thank you for all the raiders. I uh, hope you hit the follow button. hope you come back on Wednesday for some video games and uh, Thursday for more of this model kit. I'll see you next time. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.